Welcome gamers! Today I'm gonna play through Elevenses 4.1 which is a game about loading your tea trolley to serve tea to an older lady called... let me see... Lady Agatha Smithy, one of the wealthiest landowners in the district. She's holding a gala high tea at 11 o'clock, but oh dear, you only have 15 minutes to get ready and where's the sugar? You mustn't be late, but the madam's reputation is at stake. So, what are we doing here? We have 15 minutes shown by these timer cards. We have the tea trolley here as a starting card and we have tea, milk, sugar, cups and saucers, fine china, biscuits, sandwiches, cakes, servants and eleven cents. So our job is to put everything on the tea trolley in the right order, in ascending order. So from 2 to 11 of course. If we manage to do that before the time runs out, goes to zero, we won the game. If not, um, the lady is not amused and is about to fire us. <laughs> so, how does it work? At first, this is the basic layout. The tea trolley is always here and we have our 15 minutes marked. Then all the other cards, the 10 other cards are shuffled and laid out in one row. Come stay here, milk. And I'll just go like this, three, four, five. And just because I don't want to extend it beyond the camera, the row goes on here. So actually this is one row continuing on the bottom part. And this is, of course, not the order uh, we want to have them. So, on your turn, you will look at the first card in the row, the first face-up card in the row. In this case, it's the 8. And you have a choice. You have three choices, actually. The first thing you can do is to score the card, meaning putting it on the trolley. But it has to be the next one in ascending order, so I cannot put the 8 on the 1, I need the 2, of course. Next I could do is I could um, use the card's ability. Each card has an ability, and I think it's too small to read on camera, but I will read them for you, of course. This card says, place the card at the front of the pantry, face up at the back of the pantry which would be the card itself. When you use a card, when you use an ability of the card, it is flipped over and then you perform the action. The first card is placed face up on the back of the pantry and you lose a minute. So now we have the 9 in front. So for our next round we will have a look at the 9. The third option I can do with the first face up card is put it in the reserves. So there's a kind of, um, or it's called, it's not called reserves, it's called discard. So we have three imaginary spots here and I could just place it in the discard. And this does not cost me a minute. Everything else, like using the ability or put it on the trolley, uh, costs a minute. And so we have it out of the way. The maximum number of cards in this card is three. So, three options, placing card in this card with no cost, with no time cost, scoring it, which means uh, putting uh, the next one in ascending order on the tea trolley, or using the ability. And that's almost all you need to know. I will just reshuffle and give it a try. It's it can be a very thinky game and maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I'll cut out my thinking time or just play a fast one. The game takes about, I don't know, 10 minutes, depending on how much AP you invest. Now let's see what we get. 9, 6, 
two, ten, and so on and so on. Okay. So, each time you deal out the cards, which can also be during the game, um, you have an option to take one card and place it on the front of the row, which costs a minute, but can be pretty useful. So that's the first thing to look at. And let me see, we have the nine... <laughs> Should we do that? Move the two up front. Um... I'm trying not to, to think too much in the first game here, just to give you an overview of all the cards. So, without thinking too much, um, yes, I'll do this. I place the two in front of the row, that costs a minute. Now, first turn, um, the two is here. The action of the two is flip one card in the pantry face down. Of course, we don't want to use the action, we don't want to discard it. We want to score it. Each time you score a card, it costs a minute and um, you have to take the action, flip one card in the pantry face down and I think that will be... I'll take the 10 because this cannot be discarded. Okay, next turn, next turn is... Hmm, the next front card is the 9. The action is, if possible, flip, it, flip the next card in the pantry face down. That would be useful. So these two would be flipped. Hmm, then I could discard this one and take the 3. Or I could just discard all three of them. Let's try it. I'll discard the 9. Discarding costs no minutes. I'll discard the 6. The next open card, face down, okay, I say open, it's face up. Um, face down cards do not count. So I will discard this one too. Now the next face up card is the milk and I can score it takes a minute and the milk says flip two cards in the pantry face down if possible. Since we want to have the four and the five of course I'll flip this card down and this card down. Let's just move the row up here because it's short. I really hope I can get these guys back soon. So next is the four, the sugar. I will score the sugar and the sugar says lose two minutes instead of one so we go down here 11 10. 10 minutes left this one is going pretty well for first game the five is kind of special this card cannot be discarded and it cannot be flipped face down by another card's action but we don't want to discard it we don't want to use an action we just want to score it no action that triggers. Now all cards in the pantry are face down. If that happens, we just take all cards in the pantry, not in the discard, shuffle them, deal them out again, and since we dealt them out again, we could do the same action as on the start, choose any one card and place it in the front of the row um, for a minute, but I think I do not want to do that because the 10 says the servants, they cannot be discarded and it's optional, return a discard to the pantry and place it up, face up after the 10. This is what I'm going to do. I'll take the action, I'll flip this down place a card from the discard face up after the 10. And if this is used as a regular action, not as an action for scoring, um, you do not lose a minute. But only if you placed a card um, in the pantry. Next is the 6. I'm going to score the 6. 
takes me one minute. And the sixth ability is Shuffle the Pantry. So we can shuffle it again. Face up, of course. Okay, next we need the seven, and the seven is on the end of the pantry. So I think I think I'll use this special action you can do after dealing out the cards to place the seven in front of the pantry for one minute. Now I'll score this seven that takes another minute and it says swap the position of two face-up cards in the pantry. Then we have the 11. The 11 itself doesn't have an action. There are cards that don't have actions like the 5 and the 11 but if you want you can still flip them face down for one minute and just for no action. Just so that they are face down. But let's see what we can do here. When I discard the 11 I can score a card from the discards and this is exactly what we want to do. So I want to discard the 11. I will do that. I will score the 8 and this is per scoring rule so it takes a minute and the action of the 8 is place the card at the front of the pantry face up at the back of the pantry which is kind of it just stays the same here. So, the 10 again. It cannot be discarded as an action. Return a discard to the pantry and place it face up after the 10. If you do so as an action, do not lose a minute. The next face up card is the 9. I will score the 9 for one minute. And the action is, if possible, flip the next card in the pantry face down. It already is face down. Now, the pantry, all cards are face down. I'll shuffle the pantry, I'll shuffle one card. It's the 10, and what do I want to do? I want to score the 10. I score the 10, scoring the 10 takes a minute. And it says, return a card. This card from the pantry and place it after the 10. In this case, it's in the pantry. And this is our 11, which we're going to score. Wow! And every one of you who thinks this game is easy, it's not. It was just a lucky first game. And um, wow, pretty satisfied with that. But I'll play another one or maybe two to show you that things don't run that smoothly all the time. You can actually score your game. Scoring is pretty straightforward. It's the number on the top card of the tea trolley pile. It's 11 plus um, all minutes left. So that's three minutes left, so 14 in total, which is a pretty good score. And there are also some nice little stories. Let's see. Again, that was pretty lucky. So, let's just, for the fun of it, and because it's an addictive little game, play another one and see how it turns out. Actually, my first games, I just lost always with, I don't know, at least two or three minutes short. Of course, if you lose with a zero, the game is over. And if you have only managed to place eight cards on the trolley, so there's an eight on top of it, so it's eight points. Eight plus zero. Okay, let's see what the next game brings us. I hope these are shuffled pretty well. Here's our line. <laughs> the five is always annoying because it cannot be flipped. 
with the seven I could flip two face up cards whereas our three and four it's always bad to have the lower numbered cards at the end and I only can swap one card with the seven let's oh, two cards I cannot discard okay I will not use the um, option to place a card in front of the pantry I will use the seven the biscuits the biscuits say swap the positions of two face up cards in the pantry that's an action takes me one minute and I will swap the two with the five next face up card is the T the number two I will score it for one minute flip one card in the pantry face down and I think I'll go for the 10 and now let me see I'm thinking of using the 6 because the 6 lets you reshuffle the pantry this could be good or bad depending on my shuffling. I could discard the 6 the 5 cannot be discarded mm, no, don't like it. Okay, I will use the action of the 6 that's an action and it says shuffle the pantry Okay, that should be enough. Now, oh, come on, five. Where's my three? <sighs> still, still far off. So, since I just dealt out the pantry again, I will place the three in front of the pantry. This all moves here for one minute. Then I'll score the three, one minute, and it says flip two cards in the pantry face down. I cannot flip the five, that's its ability. And how do I get to my four? I could flip these two and shuffle the pantry again, or I could discard. Okay, let's go this way. I'll flip these two. Again, the five cannot be flipped. So that was the scoring of milk. I think I will use the five. Okay, the five doesn't have an action, but still, if you want to turn it face down, it counts as an action with no effect. So one minute just to flip over the five. Now I'm going to use the discard. I will discard the 6. And I will discard the 7. The 8 says place the card at the front of the pantry face up at the back of the pantry. Do I want to use it? Oh, that would be the 5. Okay. I will use the action of the 8. Place the card in front of the pantry, face up to the back of the pantry. Let's make a nice row here. Then here's our four. Four I will score and it says lose two minutes, one, two instead of one. Then I will place the nine in the discard and I will score the five another minute you see we're getting pretty close to zero minutes so I don't know if I'm gonna make this but well let's see pantry all cards are flipped face down so I will reshuffle them I don't want to 
waste a minute placing another card to the front. So I will use the 10. Return a card from the discard and place it face up after the 10. If you do so, do not lose a minute. Then we have the 6 here. I will score the 6. Takes a minute. And the success, shuffle the pantry. Okay, this is good. Now the 11 is in front. The 11 says um, if you discard the card before you do so, you can score a card. So I will, before I score, uh, discard the 11, I will score the 7. This, the scoring itself, not the discarding, takes a minute. And the 7 says swap the position of two face up cards in the pantry. That was not good. Because I wanted to have the 8 in front, of course. Now the 10 cannot be discarded. <laughs> so the only thing I can do is... Yeah. So I use the action, but the action is optional. So I just don't use it, but it still takes a minute. Then I'll score the sandwiches. One minute left! Place the card at the front of the pantry face up at the back of the pantry, which is the 10. I use the action of the 10 and place a card from the pantry right after the 10. And if I do so, I do not lose a minute. And then I will score the 9 and we're at 0. Put the next card in the pantry face down. So, this time I didn't make it in time. I only have 9 points, 9 plus 0. Let's see what that is. That is 8 to 10 points. The madam is disappointed. You risk getting replaced. Yep, and this is what I deserved. <laughs> okay. So, I hope you get an idea. Um, it's a great little game. Wow, for only 13 cards, actually, like 11 you're playing with. All these, all these abilities are very, very good thought out, uh, very solid. And I'll just play a third one, and that will be the final one for the video. Let's see if we can pull up another win if we can satisfy a lady. Okay! <laughs> the five again. The five in the front. Two, three, four in the back. This is always a bad start. So I think I will place the two in front of the pantry for one minute. Then I'll score the two for another minute. Flip one card in the pantry face down. The five cannot be flipped face down. And... I think I'll flip down the 11. Now the cops and sources just eat a minute because I cannot discard them, they don't have an action, but I need to have them face down, so I will use their action, which is no action. Then we have the biscuits. Swap the positions of two face up cards in the pantry. If I'd use this, I could swap these two, the three. And then, ah, okay, I'll use it. I'll use the seven as an action. 
Swap the position of two face-up cards. Then I'll score the three for one action. And flip two cards in the pantry face down. And I will flip down, let me see. <laughs> Hmm, running out of time here. I'm thinking of, of course, flipping two of those face down. Then I could reach the four. If I would use the eight before, I could put the five at the end of the pantry. Then, okay, I'll do that. So, the two cards I flipped down using the milk are these two. Can they be flipped down? Yeah. Next card I use for one action is the 8. Place the card on the, from the front of the pantry, face up to the back of the pantry. Let's move all this here. Now I score the 4. Unfortunately, the 4 takes 2 minutes. 1, 2. Then I'll discard the 9. Doesn't take any time, then I'll score the 5 for one minute. All cards face down, reshuffle. Now I need a good deal here. Six minutes to go for, for six cards. Okay, I'll place the 7 in the discard, I'll score the 6 for one minute, and the 6 says shuffle the pantry. One, two, three, we're getting there. The 11, I'm gonna discard the 11, and before I discard the 11, I can score a card from the discards. Scoring takes me a minute. And it says swap the position of two face-up cards. Hmm. Too bad. Well, okay. So the 10 is just in my way. So I have to, I cannot discard it. I have to flip it down for a minute, then I'll score the 8, another minute, oh come on! Place the card at the front of the pantry face up to the back of the pantry. I use the 10, the 10 says, optional, return the card from the discards to the pantry, and if I do so, do not lose a minute, then I will score the 9, 1 minute left, flip the next card in the pantry face down, it is face down, I'll reshuffle the pantry, hey, a 10, and now I'll score the 10, this takes 1 minute, and I can put the 11 back after the 10 in the pantry and unfortunately again ran out of time. Ah, 10 points! <laughs> okay. But winning 1 out of 3 is a good ratio. 10 points, Madam is still disappointed you risk getting replaced. So I hope that was a good overview for you guys, um, I hope you had fun watching, it's a fun little game, give it a try if you're a solo or a gamer, if you need something for like 10 minutes or even 7 minutes, it's small, you can take it everywhere, nice game, thanks for watching, have fun with it, see you next time, bye!